Today, we're gonna be cutting out all the frames for our faux cathedral window, which we're then gonna hook up to our lightning detector. I'm Rachel DeBarros, and thanks for watching Gearhead Diva. So I'm gonna give you a look-see at what I have going on here because I kind of drew out what I think my cathedral window is gonna look like. But this mock-up is already kind of not right because this bar here is way too high. It needs to go a little bit lower because see how it jacks up the width here? It's like gets way skinnier. And then here it's like way fatter. I already goofed right from the get-go, which says a lot for how this project is gonna go. All you do to get kind of that perfect arch, you mark your height where you want it to go and see where I have these arrows. This is kind of like where I calculated. You hold one piece of the string here and basically it's a little trial and error. And all you do is trace it on up and see how it meets that point. And then vice versa, you do the other side and it perfectly matches up. And that's how you get like that perfect archway. Done. It's mostly gone okay. We can see that this side is a little bit skinnier than this chunk side here. So we're gonna take the sander and get rid of some of this. And you can see here a couple different lines going on. And as I was cutting, I was like, uh-oh, am I following the right line? And uh, I guess not. All right, the garage door is open. You can see that, you know, light hitting me there. Otherwise, this is a windowless garage, which will be kind of cool to have like a little fake window. And where I'm going with this is that I think I want to make it a shadow box where we can put our lightning scene in the back and have this, you know, kind of be the front of it. But we're going to figure all that out later. First things first, I'm going to be sanding. <laughs> So now these two, listen, they're not perfect. I ain't going for perfection, but they're a little more equi, um, equi uh, sized, you know. I think I'm gonna make this side my front, minus this sticker right here, which I probably should have taken off earlier. And now it's like sanded into the wood because I just put the sander right over it. I think what I'm gonna do is create a cool stone effect for this. I have some trim and this is PVC trim because it bends, oh yeah. Now you can bend wood trim, but if you can get your hands on PVC trim, it's already wobbly. Most of the time when you bend molding, you bend it you know, in this direction, but not horizontally, longitudinally, rather than like this where it bends super easy. We're gonna have to bend it instead like like this, not so easy. But I think a little bit of heat gun action is gonna really negotiate this really well. You know, he's not gonna have much argument after I slap him with a heat gun. <laughs> like a disco dance, but with a heat gun. So we have a whole side done. I think I got my groove, little heat gun, and some brad nails. The glue got a little bit cooked, but you know, who doesn't like some cooked glue? All these I think will be disguisable once we put our stone effect on. You can see some of the nails. If you're not hitting the gun square perpendicular, it slides. Also just the surface is slippery, so it's tough to get them. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these guys off and make sure I have enough going through to hold the piece together. 
I thought it'd be maybe cool to put indicator lights from one to 40 kilometers. And, you know, however far away that the lightning is, the little lights light up. So I'm kind of leaving this section here blank until I figure it out. But for now, we have kind of a nice thing where I think once we get our stone effect, it's going to be quite deceiving. I'm going to have to be a little careful just grabbing, making sure I don't snag myself. I already did uh, snag myself a little bit here. You know how it is. If the project doesn't bite you, then it's not a worthy adversary. Whoa. That bent a little too well there. That's basically the model. It's like, oh, you screwed up. Don't worry. The stone effect will definitely hide it. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Hurry up. Ow, 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 ow. I mean, mostly it looks good, right? I'm kind of trimmed out. I don't know about you guys. That actually looks nice. Damn it. I might want to do it. Oh. <laughs> If I can do something even more horrible than this, well, it's the Olympics of failed miter corners. All right, so I think I got all the vampires. You know, still have to be a little bit careful because yeah, they're, they're still out there. This is kind of like what we ended up with. We do have a nice overhang here, which will be nice because we can build our shadow box. I know if I just coat it with white, it's just gonna look like painted wood. But then I started messing around with the spackle and a paintbrush and these little porous uh, areas that it, it's gonna create is gonna let us do some really cool painting highlights. Or so I tell you right now, you know, that that all could change. So let's see how this is gonna go. Let's address the elephant in the room, which is these horrible, horrible corners up here. Look at that in all its glory. Can we go more? Oh yes, we can go more on this hideousness. And yeah, I'm just gonna go fingers, start to mold this thing. It's like frosting, frosting on a cake. I think once we add our stone effect, this will look pretty good. As I keep telling myself that, it'll look good. We got it, yeah. Don't mind it right now. Yeah, it looks like a complete poop. It's one thing I know how to do well is turn poop projects into less poop projects. I'm beginning to add the first coat and I'm using an old brush. It's perfect for projects like this. All those markings are looking pretty good. This might be turning in our favor, actually. I think I'm going to leave it here because this definitely needs to dry because I'm more moving it around than I am applying a whole new coat. I got my work cut out for me tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll catch you guys later.